For this app review, we're going to be looking at the Desmos Graphing Calculator app, which is down here in the corner. Uh, this app, at the very least, provides basic calculator functions uh, to anyone. It's found th on, on just about every iPad in the district. Um, and you'll notice very basic controls down here on the bottom for uh, a calculator. And for most, this will um, this will be sufficient as a calculator. Specifically for math teachers, um, there are some really cool things with this app and how it combines with um, the Chrome extension. You can install Desmos Graphing Calculator as an extension in your Chrome po profile. Uh, and what that means is, is it'll integrate as a, um, a Chrome app and connect to your drive. So why that's cool for students is that it allows them to um, save their work and whether they're working on a mobile device because they can install this app on their own device such as a, um, a smartphone or a different or another tablet and they can have it all linked under one profile and will actually save copies of their work and by work I mean the things that are found over here on the side um, they will save copies of that in their Google Drive. So if they need to come back and look at equations that they've worked on earlier, um, they have the ability to do that and it will save them copies. So if I go up here and look at some of the options that we can do, if I go up here into the, the settings, um, it gives me starters, equations, or information on the following topic. So if I pick up something just simple like lines, uh, it gives me different forms to start with. So let's just do slope intercept form. And one of the cool things about this is it, it gives me a, a starting point here so that if you see, of course, the formula on the top and then underneath that I have the little play buttons. If I play that, it kind of walks through what adjusting M does to the line. And if I hit pause, it also walks me through what adjusting B does to the line. And it's not only a tutorial based in that sense, but I can actually move it myself and, and use a slider. So it's something to kind of, if you're dealing with those topics in class, it's something that's kind of nice because um, it allows the kids to manipulate something to themselves uh, while you're going through it. In addition to that, um, let's see, parabolas is a good one here, I think. Uh, once you've completed the, the, um, the tutorial section on it and gone through and kind of played with the sliders, you can also then add something after that. So if you wanted to add in uh, an additional formula and look at how that would graph uh, as well next to the, what you're working with, you're able to layer over the top of the graph with as many formulas as, or functions as you would like depending on what you're working on. Okay, um, now uh, you're also able at the simpler level if I wanted to just graph data, uh, you're able to put in a, a table and then put that information in there so you can plot points as well. So for, um, I guess, outside of a math class, say in a science class, and you wanted to plot data on a graph, or perhaps at a lower level where we're just working on basic plotting skills, um, this works well in that it will quick, quick, excuse me, quickly plot out the points on the graph for you, and students will be able to um, see as they go where those points line up and then we can add on top of that a line or that sort of thing. If I go up here to the gear, this just allows me to delete out things that I'm not working with. So if I want to delete everything except for my table, that's how I would do that. And uh, beyond that, I have the full screen here. So what window, what should be the range that I should see in the graph? And then um, it has a projector mode, so this would be for teachers, so if I turn that on, 
it will be outputting the same information and it'll output the graph uh, and and then you can turn on or off whatever labels that you want and then same thing down here if you're doing trig you have special settings for that um, if you're working in that and that's pretty much uh, the functions of the Desmos graphing calculator app